Welcome to the Visible Enterprise Data Governance video, case study of the Homeland Security Real ID requirements. The Real ID Act enacted the 9-11 Commission's recommendation that the federal government set standards for the issuance of sources of identification such as driver's licenses. The Act established minimum security standards for state-issued driver's licenses and identification cards and prohibits federal agencies from accepting for official purposes licenses and identification cards from states that do not meet these standards. The Department of Homeland Security was tasked with establishing the driver's license standards to be met by the states. These standards include identification requirements, documentation requirements, database integration, we will now demonstrate how to set up and run the data governance program for the case study using Visible Analyst and Visible Polaris. The Visible Governance and Workflow tasks are completed in four steps. Create the business domain, glossary, and vocabulary. Define the models and metadata for Real ID standards and requirements. Link the Real ID standards and requirements to your custom governance process. Define and enable the workflow and tasks to execute your governance process. First, let's take a quick look at the use case. The use case diagram models the actors in use case for the Real ID System Boundary business domain. Here we see subject matter experts, the database administrator, and the data analysts, actors tasked with gathering and implementing the Real ID requirements and documents overseen by the governance director. But first we need to create the business glossary and vocabulary using the strategic planning statements. This visible analyst demonstration project references a State Department of Motor Vehicles DMV. We created a business glossary for the real ID standards and requirements using strategic planning statements and substatements. These include identification requirements, required documentation, database linkage, and foreign data sharing. Once the initial model and metadata are represented in Visible Analyst, double click on the Business Glossary Planning Statement to display its repository entry and select the Links tab. The Links to field is used as the interface to add the workflow task in Visible Polaris. Right mouse click in the Links to field and choose Add Issue. If Polaris is not already open, you are prompted to select the issue set before creating a new workflow task. After clicking the Add Issue option, the New Task Details dialog is displayed. The Details form fields are specified on the template selected when the issue set is created. Templates can be customized with user specified controls such as a list box as shown for the area, team, and user fields. The template is selected when creating a new issue set. The status field is used to define the workflow promotion status of the task. Notice, Real ID Required Documentation is the task name while the category is Data Governance, the area is Documentation, and the team is Data Analysts. In this case, the initial task is assigned to the user, Henry Essex, who is the role of Subject Matter Expert. Optionally, estimated effort and task priority may also be set. Tasks are used to make sure no issue ever falls through the cracks. Optionally, task reminders may be set up to perform duties specific to the workflow task or to schedule meetings to discuss issue priorities. Here we have a task reminder to update the license database schema to comply with the Real ID requirements by July 1, 2016. Every user can create any number of tasks for each issue. When dealing with complex issues, it is often necessary to break up the issue into sub-issues. Polaris allows issues to be linked together through the use of referrals. An issue can be linked to any number of other issues in any issue set. There are two types of relationships, parent-child and link. A parent-child relationship implies a hierarchy, while a link does not. If issues are linked together in a parent-child relationship, 
you can specify that the parent issue cannot be promoted to an approved state until all child issues have already been promoted to that state. Here we see that the Real ID implementation cannot be marked as complete unless the child issues have been completed. This referral uses the parent-child relationship to link the tasks. Note, parent-child relationships are not allowed between different issue sets. Use the related type to link an issue to another issue in a different issue set. Promotions provide the ability to track how issues are resolved, allowing you to assign users that can create and promote issues from one state to another. Notice each data governance role is listed so you may select which roles may promote an issue to the next state and which roles will be notified when an issue is promoted to a given state. To specify the users or groups that can promote an issue from one state to another, select the starting state in the from state box and the ending state in the to state box and then press the add button to the right of the can be promoted by list. To specify users or groups that can create new issues, select the first state in both boxes. The Will Be Notified When Promotion Occurs box is used to specify the users or groups that will be notified when a state change occurs. Select the starting and ending state and press the Add button. The Events Fired box specifies events, program started, that will be fired when a state change occurs. Select the starting and ending state and press the Add button to the right of the field. In addition to the standard interface for creating and monitoring issues, Polaris can be set up to allow users to submit new issues and check the status of issues via email. This allows customers and service personnel to enter new problems from remote locations. An administrator must create users that have access to Polaris and can then be assigned to issue sets. For each user, the following pieces of information can be assigned. The name, their full name, email address, role, if the account is disabled, and membership in a group. Workflow groups can be defined with the name, description, role, if the group is disabled, and members of the group. Reading from the top left, we see the business glossary items defined as strategic planning statements and modeled in a use case and then an activity diagram. The new database fields are represented in the data structure real ID fields as shown in the entities driver's license and license applicant, as well as in the repository entry. From the data glossary, strategic planning statements, to the workflow repository links, to the tasks defined, to the workflow promotion path, data governance is completely documented. For a free trial license, contact us at 781-778-0200 or via email at support at visible.com. Thank you.